Hi everybody, it's Carrie. I'm part of the customer care team here at Woven. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through another one of the four ways that Woven helps you master your time by saving time on scheduling. Public scheduling links are one of our most popular features. They allow you to create a permanent link that anyone can use to schedule a meeting with you. Instead of having to schedule similar meetings over and over, you can simply share the link and allow others to choose times that work for both of you. Woven will only let them choose times that don't interfere with your existing schedule, so you don't have to worry about double booking. Like one-time scheduling links, public scheduling links are typically used to schedule meetings with one other participant. The key difference is that public scheduling links are saved as a template with a persistent link, so you can use them repeatedly. This makes them best for the types of meetings that you need to schedule frequently. Since it's a template, you can save all the details you want, time range is offered, location, video conferencing details, private tags, etc. And it will automatically be applied to all the meetings with this link. Managers use public scheduling links to schedule one-on-ones. Recruiters use public scheduling links for interviews and salespeople use them to offer sales calls to prospective clients. And sometimes people even share it with friends to offer a social get togethers. Many people add public scheduling links to their email signature or website to allow people to automatically book time with them. Here's how to create a public scheduling link. In Woven, you're gonna find the plus sign. Click on it and then select public scheduling link. Under template name, give the template a name. This is a name as it will appear here in the templates listing. Next, give it an event title. This is a title as it will appear on, as a meeting on your calendar. Advanced users can use smart titles. Smart titles add the name of the participant to the title of the event as it appears on your calendar. Next, you can add the durations of time and range of days. Here you can have a start and end time for these links, the duration, as well as what days of the week you want to allow these, this link to work with. So the time zone will default to the time zone on your computer. No sooner then says, what is the soonest from now that you want someone to be able to schedule an event on your calendar? No later then says, how far out into the future can someone schedule an event on your calendar? And buffer time says, how much open or available time do you want in front of the meeting being scheduled? Do not offer a time slot on my calendar that doesn't have, say, 15 minutes available in front of it. Fill out the additional details of the event. Um, you can choose to add conferencing, location, description, tags, things like that. Keep in mind that the same settings that you put here will be the same for everybody who schedules using this link. Only the participants and the time they select will change. Once you're done, you can either copy this link and share it, or you can click on to add to to select the email signature or the website. That's a wrap on public scheduling links. If you want more for information, please check out our help article. There's a link in the description. And make sure to check out the rest of our scheduling videos to master your time and get the most out of Woven.